Hello there, my name is Anthony Stokes and I am the IT Digital Media Specialist here at Palo Alto College. In this video, we're gonna be looking at quizzes in Panopto. Let's get to it. So to start a quiz within Panopto, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is head over to your Panopto within a canvas and you're gonna take your mouse and you're gonna hover over one of your videos. From here, it does give you a couple different options, but the one that we're gonna be focusing on today is the one that looks like a film slate and a pen. Uh, it's gonna be our edit option. We're gonna go ahead and click that and it's gonna pop over a new screen with the video built into it. Now, from here, you do have the ability to be able to edit your video, cut everything out, but we're not gonna be focusing on that. We're gonna be focusing on right over here, this little area called quizzes. We click that and we're gonna add a quiz. Now, the way that these quizzes are made is that they are timestamped. So right now there is a quiz right at the very beginning of this, um, but based on where you are in the video, you can easily change where the quiz may be. So let's say if I don't want the question to start there, we can want it to start maybe a second in. I'm gonna do that, and now there we go, it's timestamped at a second. Now, the type of questions you can ask, it can, you are able to ask four different types of questions. The first one is multiple choice. The other ones are true or false, multiple select, fill in the blank. Um, now, all of these do, do give you the option of changing whether something is true or false or multiple choice. Let's say if like, uh, what's two plus two, why not? And it does give you the option, but let's say we have multiple answers. This is how you would add them. Let's go with one or 12. Why not? Two, three, and then four. four. There we go. So in order to select which answer is the correct one, you would just select that or whichever bubble is the correct answer for them to choose on. And if you wanna provide any kind of explanation, you're able to do that here. Let's say we also want to add a question after this one, so it's not only going to be this question at that timestamp, but a secondary question. We're gonna hit add a question. This one we'll just do true or false, and we'll do my shirt is red. In this case, the answer is true, so we're gonna go ahead and leave that. Yes, it's red. And there we go. We're gonna go ahead and hit done. Now the cool thing with this is it does allow you to get have different options within these questions. You can allow whoever is viewing this video to retake the quiz if they just so happen to get any questions wrong. It'll show their grade after taking the quiz and it may even you can even allow them to review the correct answers afterwards. So the way that'll work is if something is, just ends up being wrong, it allows you to go through the questions one more time and allows you to realize, oh, wait a minute, this one was wrong. And this is where that explanation would come in handy. The best feature that I like about this is the block advancing in the video until answering this quiz, meaning they cannot continue the video and get full credit for watching it until they completely uh, complete this quiz. Down here, it does allow you to change the order that the, video, that the uh, questions come in. So if you don't want two plus two to start it off, but you want my shirt is red to start it off, this is how you would adjust it. We're gonna go ahead and hit finish, and there we go. So from here, you're easily able to add a quiz to your video. And once you are all done adding that quiz, you're just gonna go ahead and hit apply. Uh, changes have been applied to the video. We're gonna go ahead and close the editor. Yes, we will. And there we go. So now the video will start. We're gonna go ahead and start that video. And then boom, there are your questions. My shirt is red and then the secondary question. Now, how do you implement this into a Canvas course or into assignments or anything like that? Well, let me go ahead and show you. The way that you would have this added as an assignment or the quiz that you built into Panopto as an assignment is you go to assignments. From here, what we're gonna do is we're going to add a new assignment and this one is just going to be a video quiz. Then from here, you easily set up your points. How much is this points gonna be worth? What is the weight of the group? And it's gonna be displayed, all of that. but. The big thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to add it as a different submission type. 
instead of an online or a paper or a no submission, you're gonna hit external tool and you're gonna go over here and click find. It does have a lot of different options, but you're just gonna look for Panopto quiz, which is right there. Now, the cool thing with these videos that you're creating is you have two different ways of taking grades with this. One is based on the actual quiz results. So if they happen to score like a 50 on this, it's fully integrated with Canvas and this quiz will now become part of the grade book and will automatically get the grade that they get on this will be imported over there. The next one is grade on the percentage viewed. Meaning that if they, in order to get a perfect 100 on this, they have to watch 100% of the video and cannot skip around. They have to watch every part of it to get a complete 100 on the grade, which means that you could use this as a way of like, nice little example is if you have like a syllabus quiz and you have the video and at the very end, in order to acknowledge that they've read the syllabus and went through everything, they can just watch the video and that grade shows that they've now watched the entire vi video, they know how the syllabus works and that's a good example for that. Um, but in this case, we're gonna do grade on quiz, hit continue. And in case you have multiple different videos created, it'll all be right here. We're gonna go ahead and select test video and hit insert. Select and now, Whenever you go ahead and save this video, this uh, assignment, the video is just going to pop up right here on your assignment page. You can go ahead and hit play. And there we go, we do have the quiz, so we're gonna hit true on this one. It's two plus two, four, next. Sweet, so it does allow, it does show that I answered everything correctly. It does allow me to review through these questions, through the explanation, yes, it's red. No explanation on that one. Or if I want to retake the quiz, I can. Let's say if I get the second question wrong, it'll look like this. Once I hit continue, it'll continue that video. And now, that grade is going to be automatically submitted into the grade book. And there we go. So that is how you create a video quiz and within Panopto, and this is how you implement those video quizzes within your course. That's pretty much it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye, everyone.